Hey, it's Anwats RC, and this video will be about Raining Chain. So now it's been a while now since my last video. It's naturally because I've stopped working on the project. It's more because what I've been doing is naturally interesting to show. So what I've been doing is cleaning my code. So my code was really messy. I had a lot of global variables. What I've been doing is cleaning it and making everything into modules. So it's a lot more convenient to code. Um, but I wanted to wait until I got new features before making a new video. So anyway, there it is. So one of the main change for the logging system is the visual aspect. The system itself is the same, but as you can see, it looks pretty much better, especially compared to what I had, um, which was white with two input. But anyway, um, I guess it's not the best looking logging system you have ever seen, but it's far better like I've mentioned. So let's just log in with some sum and show you guys how it looks. Um, Kind of looks the same way. There's a couple minor changes. One of them is the minimap. So it's a little bit smaller in the top right corner of the screen. And there's also the resource bar that are in the top left corner. The main reason is that before pretty much the wall right Part of the screen was hidden by the user interface and I wanted to show more of the map and also the um, the context now appears next to your mouse instead of the top um, left corner kind of like in RuneScape now um, and um, I've also added the preference tab so if you want to change the zoom you can do that directly here if you want to change the ratio you can also do this here so it's a lot more Andy, but I guess it's not the best system ever. But compared to what I had, where you had to actually re uh, write down this command to actually change the bank transfer amount, it's a lot more convenient. And there's also a little description. I guess you cannot see it all, but if you're in a browser, you can see it. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I've changed, but they look exactly the same. One example is the Quest totally revamped, but the only thing that changed for the user is now they can see how many times they have completed a quest. And for example, I've completed this quest two times, and my bonus is 1.02 instead of only one. So that's a little change, but I mean, the system behind that is totally changed. Uh, another big change is the enemy AI. So one of the big problem before is that the enemies could pile. This was kind of annoying because dodging bullets when they are all piled up is a lot more easier and it's a lot easier to kill them. So I'll, I'll just try to pile them up. I'll try something like this. So right now they are piled and with the last AI I had, they will stay piled. But now, in theory, they should stay piled and then split up into different sections. In theory, not really sure if it will happen. Come on, you can do it. It's still random. Well, as you can see, they are less piled, I guess. But it's not really... Sometimes they are more split. But as you can see right now, they are no longer... Well, Probably not the best example right there. They're not really cooperative right now, the monsters. Um, but before they would simply stay in a bunch and be kind of bad. So let's just wait, cross the fingers, and hopefully they will split. Come on, you can do it. Uh, I guess they are not willing. Not really sure if it's the algorithm or I'm just unlucky because long story short the system I'm using um, is that each enemy has a main target for example the player and well this one is splitting up as a main target and then if he is in the ideal range it will create a secondary target somewhere around the player and it will move towards this um, secondary target so in theory they can move freely around me and that's one thing. I think that one of the problem, well, anyway, I won't really spend time <laughs> working on that. Um, another thing I've changed is change how um, the pathfinding. So before the enemies were really dumb, they simply want to, to run towards me, but now I've changed it. So if they are stuck, well, it's, it's not 
Perfect. But for example, this monster is stuck. It will move down. So it will move away from me to actually move to the right and then move towards me. So this wasn't possible with the system I had before. So what I've added is a A star pathfinding. Um, but for example, this one is stuck, not really because the algorithm is bad, it's because the it box is bigger than the collision grid. And this makes some issues. I'm still working on it, um, but it won't be an easy thing to fix. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it and see ya.